Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com and Elizabeth Bloomsburg Planner Concepts. Today I'm going to do a plan with me where I set up my February 2020 Passion Planner monthly. Um, first I'm going to go over the tools I'll be using today. We have the little metal ruler from Westcott, our spatula tool, our slice tool. I've got an assortment of pens, highlighters, and markers here. And then I have my February kit. Uh, this kit is available exclusively to um, patrons. So if you want, and I know some people have asked about getting their own versions of my kits. Um, if you're at the top tier of the Patreon, you get a kit like this, three sheets every month. Um, if you're in the middle tier, you get a digital download and then you can cut them out yourself. So uh, there's a link at the um, description that will give you the access to the Patreon so you can see a bit more of uh, the different patron levels. And then keep an eye out because today I'm also launching a new sticker in my Etsy shop. Uh, this is the um, template for it. Uh, it'll be a little bit different in the shop because I uh, made this very specific to a trip I'm going on, but I'm essentially selling a travel pack of stickers now that'll have the important info sticker, which includes a rental car section on the one in the shop, uh, flight stickers, check-in, check-out, rental car pickup drop-off, leave for airport uh, stickers, packing list, and then some timeline stickers here, which hard to see but they're like little timeline stickers here so you can block off events reservations whatever you have so this available in the shop today which um, this is the February kit colors so this will match the February kit that we'll be using today got that all the way let's get started with planning first thing I'm going to do is put down my stickers um, the kit that I put out off as always includes the washi for it so we just line it up. I like to line it up on the ends here. And then make sure you can see what I'm doing. Just place it down along the line that's right there on your planner. Now, since my videos where I set up this planner, I found out that they actually did change the paper this year in the passion planners um, if you watched my back pages setup video and I think also mentioned it in the front pages setup video that was a little late going up last week um, I mentioned I, I, I thought that the paper felt different the uh, stickers which I haven't changed my sticker paper but my sticker paper for the back pages this year was adhering really weird as opposed to in previous years where it was like a lot more removable and a lot more forgiving and it turns out that, yeah, Passion Planner has gone to 100% sustainable bamboo, which is paper, which is really cool. It's way better than trees, for sure. Um, it just makes it a little bit more difficult when you're stickering with a less forgiving sticker material like the one I use. But I'm going to keep using this sticker paper specifically because I like the quality of it. I like the way my pen writes on it. It's it really feels like I'm writing on a damn cloud. And um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna change my sticker paper. I would just be very cautious when you're laying down larger stickers, um, like the washi strips in my kit or the boxes. Just be a little bit more cautious before you press down that your page that your page that you're pushing your sticker onto is laying completely flat. Otherwise, you'll get little bubbles and creases, which on a little stick like the washi, not such a big deal. But if you're using a large full page sticker, for example, like the monthly reflection stickers from my store, then it can get a little tricky if you lay those down wrong. Um, as always, when I sticker for the month, I sticker top down. I sticker it upside down so that you don't have my head in the way when you're trying to see what I'm doing here because I am nearsighted. 
Um, so I would usually go washi strip and then days of the week if I was doing a weekly spread. However, because I'm doing a monthly spread and we have the gray boxes at the top, I'm gonna cover those up first. And then the days of the week will just go right on top of that. So, we've got our gray boxes covered up. Go ahead and put our days of the week in. I switched to a Monday start this year. I had to go through and change all of my sticker kit templates to a Monday start. It was kind of weird. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the sticker tip kit templates, it's kind of a tongue twister there, um, are available to patrons. Um, when if you do the Patreon at the top tier level, you have to let me know if you have a Monday start or a Sunday start so that you get the right start for your sticker kit. Um, if you're wondering why I like, I said earlier, I really like this particular sticker paper and I'm not changing it up. It's because it's real flexible. So if I do something like this where I'm like, oh crap, I didn't mean to sticker that down yet. I can kind of just move it around so I can put my, like, oops, I totally meant to put this one down first. So I can do that now. This longer one, like, this is what I'm talking about with like the bamboo paper. Uh, it adheres really well to the bamboo paper. You have to be real careful. I guess I was planning on having it there. Anyway, it's no longer removable, so uh, pro tip, if you're gonna stick this sticker down, you don't actually have to do what I just did. Apparently when I was designing this, I was real smart and made this sticker fit right under here as opposed to last year's stickers where you had to do what I just did. So, I don't even know how I design my own stickers anymore. This is, this is sad. Anyway, so there we are stickers not removable so if you make a mistake like that you've made a mistake like that you're just gonna have to live with it go back here get the rest of our days of the week stickered down there we are flip it around get my washi strip in Remember I showed you that travel kit earlier that's in the shop? I showed you that. Cause I'm gonna actually steal one of the stickers from it, the to-do sticker. Just pop that right up there. Ta-da, to-do, ta-da. Now you get the one large sheet in the Patreon sticker kit. And you also get these two smaller sheets. And once I get my action plan down for February, I will show that to you. See, this is, see, hear that? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't get that. I didn't get that last year with the old style paper because the old style paper didn't like kind of almost bubble up to try and meet the sticker. It's real weird. I don't, I don't I'm not a fan of the paper, new paper. All right, so as I was saying, you get the one full sheet of stickers, which is now empty when I've got this set up. And then you get these little sheets. And I'm gonna kind of show you, when you get it through the Patreon, it won't, it won't say week one, week two, week three, week four on the little washi strips here. They'll just go over where it says top priority project and they'll be blank. Uh, as I mentioned this, I love, the thing I love about the sticker paper is that it is super writable. You can use almost any pen to write on it. It, it really absorbs ink well. So it's just kind of fabulous in that way. 
So um, like unlike other sticker, pa some other sticker papers you, you, that I've tried out, you don't have that issue of like you, if you write on it with like a gel ink pen, it might smear. Um, there's some sticker papers where you're really only gonna be using like micron pigment uh, pens if you're gonna be doing a lot of writing on them because they'll smear from gel inks or sometimes even ballpoints. which I kind of cover in the pen test video, if you watched that. Um, you'll get, when you get the Patreon kit, it will include all of the holidays. I did make this one unique for my own purposes, uh, for things that I've got coming up. Um, I do not do custom kits from the Patreon um, patrons, but you can always request a custom order through Etsy if you happen to like this sticker kit and just want to make some text changes. Okay. Uh, this month's, every month when I do a sticker kit, it comes with some like experimental stickers just to see if there's something I want to put in the store. Um, in this case, it's going to be my flight stickers that are in the kit that I just released into the Etsy shop, into our wider world here. When I put down like flight stickers like this, I like to put them approximately, like if it's midday flight, I put it kind of toward the middle of the day. If it's an early morning flight like that, I try to put it toward the early morning, et cetera. And then I'm gonna go through and sticker in my holidays and my bills. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my stickers for the holidays. We're gonna use our spatula tool for that. Um, if you wanna know like how I choose which holidays to include, I actually get an email that has all the different kind of like fun holidays that are coming up. And I pretty much just go by that, like which holidays do I think are fun or which are your like, Holidays that most people are gonna care about, like the Super Bowl, not really a holiday, but it is to me. Um, or Valentine's Day, which most people are gonna care about, or Singles Day, which comes after, although I didn't include that one. And then my next question, after I've got, you know, those holidays in, okay, across on the 25th, so heat. It's gonna be a fun day. A flight. Um, then the next thing I'm going to do is go, okay, what am I going to want to post about like on social? And then I kind of pick the fun holidays that will be fun to talk about on social. So that's kind of how that all happens. Um, so you'll end up with, we have covers for President's Day, which is already on our calendar, but then you have random things like National Margarita Day, which isn't pre-printed on our calendar for these purposes. Um, and yeah, I don't include all of the fun holidays. Um, like I said, there's a sort of method to my madness. Um, Let's see here, and I've got it. And you know, you all, in, with the uh, Patreon, I do include like a list of the holidays so you can put them on the calendar yourself. There we go. But you can always watch the Plan With Me videos for that particular month to see where to put them on during my setup. So. And if you're wondering just from an aesthetic perspective, yeah, sometimes it totally bothers me that you have like three fun holidays in a row and then nothing for a week or two, but is what it is.
And like I said, I have some of them like the Colorado Environmental Film Festival that are just my custom stickers for things that are important to me. Those won't be on yours. I'll put some other fun holidays instead where those holidays would usually go. National Toast Day. That's an interesting one. Anyway, so as you can see, February is a little kind of light on the days. And the next thing I'm going to do is sticker in my bills are due days. So they think I include 10 of those on here. I should probably do some like gradated colors for these so they're not all the same in case like me, you have two bills due on the same day because everything's due on the first of the dang month. Okay. I'm just going to use my ruler here to bookmark that. 27 and 2 and 30th. Well, there is no 30th, so I guess that'll be the 29th. Don't you love it when you're on vacation or at a conference and you have a bill come due? That's just freaking fabulous, isn't it? Spread it out because I don't know. I left a sticker a space open there and I didn't use it, so I'm just gonna spread out my bill, bill due dates because I got one due on the I got two of them due on the 30th and there's no 30th in February, so I'm gonna just post them as 28th and 29th and just expect that by the end of the month those the money will be gone. Okay, all my bill due stickers now. You also get four payday stickers in this kit. Um, I know some of you guys pay, get paid bi-weekly. Um, I get paid by Etsy for my stickers on a weekly basis. So I put four in the February kit because I'm going to get paid four times. I just needed to see when those dates were. So that's here. And these are meant to kind of overlap like this. I thought that was just kind of like a really cool design to do instead of having, I don't know. So they just sit right on top of your other little squares like that. I just thought that looked really super cute when I was setting it up. So anyway. Ladies. Right? Like, that's stinking cute. All right. I got one little deco sticker left on this sheet, which I can use wherever. 
finally, um, this sheet here, ooh, it's gonna go into the previous month. I swear the cutting machines are like little, like Chelsea calls them little devils, they are. I named mine Bob, uh, Twin Peaks thing. Sometimes they don't cut as thoroughly as I'd like. So anyway, um, if you do a kit, if you do the kit as a patron, you won't have all of these same ones. This is my custom sticker for myself, but you will have all the suggested days in this kind of really funky font. So things like brunch date, lunch date, you know, chill out day, unplug day, volunteer day, self care day. You'll, there's a whole bunch of uh, doctor, dentist, hair, Manic, Manny Petty, I think, is on there. It's just a whole bunch of ones that, you know, are going to be more general for that everybody can use. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab my most recent calendar and get these stickered as they are right now. So let's see here. And I did these two, like these I could have done as one large sheet. I did them small for a purpose. And the purpose is because sometimes I don't have these all, um, what's the word I'm looking for, kind of set up. There you go. I don't have like my photo shoots or consultations planned, you know, necessarily a month in advance since I'm also a professional photographer. But sometimes people you know, add stuff at the last minute, or maybe I don't know when I'm gonna have my date night. So, to me, February first, February first. It just makes more sense to have them on a nice little small sheet that will fit in like the front pocket of your um, cover or into the back pocket of your planner if you don't have a cover, if that makes sense. So. I'm just gonna pop my phone right here because I got a pop socket so I can hopefully just kind of hold this thing up. Sweet. Or like, you know, for another example, I'm just putting this because I'm putting my therapy sticker on right now. You know, I don't schedule my therapy regularly. It's not like I go every week. I schedule my next appointment while I'm there for my current appointment. So like on the third, when I go in, I'll schedule the following therapy session. So I, you know, I want to be able to have this very portable for me to be able to schedule stuff. All right. Let's see here. Oh, I didn't put book club. I need to add book club to here. I'm just going to write that on this sheet directly. And... You know, you guys should be in book clubs and do things like that. So I need to add that. Um, let's see. Oh, podcast. thinking and I want you guys if you've watched this far to leave something in the comments in addition to these little stickers that say like lunch date etc would you like little timeline stickers so that you that would match so it would say like you would have a sticker that you could put like 9 30 next to it like just let me know so I'm kind of thinking about it I'm not sold yet necessarily but so to speak I'm not like really sold on the whole Thing yet but um like I said let me know let me know what you think about that this is also a misprint sheet they're not usually so much white space around the stickers when I do them but this is just for me this isn't for you guys I'm not selling this one so I'm not super worried about it
these will usually fit exactly in the boxes. Okay. Yeah, see I need a spa day on here as well. I'll just use self care day for right now. On the 24th. Cool these. See, this is why I think like having the little time stickers would be really good here and here because that would that way if you have something two things in one day it just makes a bit more sense. You know, I don't think Chelsea even makes these anymore in the foils. I think you can only get them in the regular colors now, which is really sad because I, I love these. Luckily, I kind of hoarded them last year because I was using her kits, um, which come with these as well. So I didn't need to use all, of, as you can see, I didn't use all the gold ones that I had purchased. And I have another like half sheet of these in my binder of stickers so I'm actually really happy I did that because um, they're not on her store anymore that makes me very sad these are as far as like foil stickers go I don't buy a lot of them but these were easily my favorite foil stickers that I buy like every year so very sad about that I especially love the rose gold because the rose gold is just gold enough that it's not super pink, so it will go with like literally every color that's out there. So I do miss these. And I'll be very sad when I finally run out. And there is all of my stickers set onto my planner. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and fill in the stickers um, on the days of the week that are fill-inable. When I go to, through to fill out my stickers, I fill out from top down, starting with my bill stickers, and then I fill in my other stickers, like my flight tracker or other times. So I'm gonna bookmark my bill page so I can get started. Once I have all of those bill stickers and times filled in, I'm going to finally go through, and then I'll do up my monthly plan column. In last month's sticker kit, I had pre-filled headers, which worked great for me, but might not work so well for others. So this month I've left them blank, so you can use them however you want. I'm gonna start first by putting in my monthly focus at the top. In order to put in my monthly focus, I'm gonna check my game changer to see what I've accomplished and what the next step is. And I'll make that next step my new monthly focus. Since it's not quite the end of January yet, we still have a few days to go. I'm going to have to assume I'll have completed all of my monthly focus steps in January for January's goal and just move on to my next step in my game changer. If I haven't completed all of the January steps by January, then I'm gonna to have to go back and add those into my overall plan as well. But for right now, we're just gonna assume that I can get all my January stuff done by February 1st so that on the first of the month I can start on this 
And you know, if I don't have everything done on the first of the month and I have to do a couple little things, it's not a big deal as long as the majority of February is spent focusing on this goal. Now, once I've set up the monthly goal, we want to break it down in the next step into milestones and action steps to make sure that that goal is achievable. And we will do that in the action plan in a moment. I'll also check my back page to see if there's any steps I've already outlined when I mind mapped my game changer and add those in right away. I'm also going to add two other sections, as you can see here. Um, my other sections are going to be my monthly task list. And then at the very bottom section, I'm going to put in my level 10 life goals section. Um, I get asked about this a lot when I talk about level 10 life goals and the TLDR version of what they are is that there are 10 goals for each of the 10 areas or domains of your life that you want to improve. So once I've got my headers in, and if you get the kit, there will be sticker headers that you can use um, as well if you don't want to write them in for your regular things like not to-do list, birthdays, this month's focus. Um, but once you have your, you've decided, you're going to go ahead and in this case, I'm going to do my action plan and then I'm going to take the action plan and put it into that first column. Now, the second column is for monthly tasks. Those are different than the um, game changer tasks and the uh, level 10 life tasks. Um, I, if you've bought anything from my store recently, you've seen that I designed this bookmark. It comes with every order. It's got a bunch of suggested monthly tasks on it, and that's something that you can use in, if you want to do a monthly tasks. This is the level 10 life goals um, page. And what I'm going to do each month is take one task from each of these domains and place them into the level 10 life goals section for that month. Any level 10 life goals that are a do X task every month, I will then put into the monthly task section instead of the level 10 life section. So for example, if it's go to therapy twice a month, then I'm going to put, you know, therapy two times in the monthly tasks instead of the level 10 life goals task section. I was once asked how I remember to check my back pages regularly, and this system, by the way, is exactly how I do that. I have to go and check my level 10 life goals and then check my back pages to see what I've accomplished and what my next life goal should be building on the last one I achieved. That gives me the opportunity to go through and check the ones I'm working on. So, basically once I have got my pen here ready to go, I'm just going to go through each domain and say, okay, this month I'm going to be focusing on this domain with this goal. And then I'll go back through and pick the next goal for the next one. And I'll go through all 10 domains, making sure that I've got that. Those all filled out. So once again, it's just a matter of going back and forth each domain until you have 10 goals that are related to those 10 domains um, that are specific tasks in those domains, um, something that's a one-time accomplishment, not something that's a repeat accomplishment. And that's because once we've done all of those, we're going to go into this block here and after we get our suggested monthly tasks from the bookmark, I'm going to flip back and forth between my level 10 life goals and even my cleaning sheet to add in any tasks I need to complete monthly. So the next section down here is um, my weekly goals and my weekly tasks. Now I'm in a kind of mastermind group called Level Up. So each week I get a task and then I'm going to break that down into action steps to complete that task. The first week's task I'll actually get assigned on the 30th of January. So when I have my Level Up group on the 30th, I'm going to take whatever my assignment is that's due by the next meeting and I'm going to put that down here where it says weekly and then I'm going to break it down into the 
action steps I need to take to complete that task by the next class, which is on the 4th. When I get my assignment for the 4th, that'll go into the week 2 box, and then I'll put that down there, all the tasks, week 3, all the tasks, and then week 4, all the tasks. You can still do this by breaking down your monthly game changer into weekly tasks and then breaking them down into daily goals that'll help you achieve that task in a much more manageable way. Now I'm going to focus on doing my action plan. I like to have this action plan so that I can use that into the left hand column there um, to make it like a kind of quick at a glance what I need to do. And the action plan is going to help me get there by breaking everything down. Uh, there's the usual sections of the action plan, which is available as a sticker in my shop on its own. Uh, we're going to start by taking the game changer and putting that in as the goal for this month. And then we break that down into each of these assorted columns here. So I'm going to start with looking at my game changer and breaking it down. And my game changer will just go right here. Obviously, you don't. You can have a different task if there's another big task you want. If you have like a work task versus your personal task, you can use one section for one and one section for the other. So once I have that done, the timeline section is where I'm going to set my milestones, and those milestones are going to be based on weeks for me because usually my game changer is related to what I'm doing in my mastermind group. So each week is going to have that as like a weekly, as a milestone for the week. Uh, yours might not be. You might have a lot of things that are due all at the beginning of your month. So your first milestone might be the first day, then the second day, then the third day. And then all of a sudden you have a milestone that's not due till the 15th. If you have like a lot of small tasks and then a large task that you need to chunk out. But essentially what you're just doing here is saying that these are the tasks that are going to be the markers for whether or not you are still on plan. So that if you get to the 15th and you're still at the mile marker or the milestone for the third, then you better step it up because otherwise you're not going to get your monthlies done. And I put this in there because I need that kind of reflection. I need to be able to go back and say, oh crap, I haven't done more than the first step and it's like the 20th day of the month. I need to get a fire under my ass and get going on this. So that's what we're going to do. We'll set the milestones up and then we're going to break those down into actions for that'll get us to each milestone. And you can kind of see how that pattern works with the weeklies. It's the same basic process as that weekly and then task. You think of the milestones as kind of your weekly assignments and then your action steps as the tasks to get to those. And I break them down almost like an outline with like my first milestone and then we have task 1A, task 1B, task 1C all the way down until we have no more tasks and once all those tasks are done, I've hit that milestone. And then I can go on to the next set of tasks. So. Once I've gotten through like A, B, C, D, however many under number one, I can go back and say, okay, now I've got to do task 2A and I'll have to do task 2B. And I will just proceed to, you know, bang out those tasks like that until all of my go I've completed all of the goals under that section. The next step is the relationship goals section. And this is where you determine who can help you achieve those milestones by asking who can help you reach that task or complete that task. For me, um, for some of my tasks, it will be my mastermind group. There will be some tasks where I'm going to need to reach out to potential vendors uh, for my photography business. Um, there's going to be some sections where um, I'm going to turn to friends to help me get the word out, whatever it is. Who Look at the task and, and brainstorm. Who is it that I know, even tangentially, even like a second or third degree of separation, that could help me achieve this goal? And if it is someone who's two or three degrees of separation away, I need to, who can I ask to make the introductions to get me to know that person? Because you really can't achieve a lot of tasks without having the proper relationships. 
Then finally, what I'm going to do is actually set my milestones. When we made our timeline, we broke everything down. And now what I want to do is set concrete deadlines in the um, milestones category so that I know when those timeline tasks are actually due. Um, you can either put them on the sticker or use the sticker as kind of like a brainstorming to say, okay, I need to do this here. I need to get this done by this date. And then I will have my last task done absolutely by the 29th of February. Or maybe you want your deadline sooner whatever, you're going to set those deadlines up. Once you have that set up, you're ready to go and put them into your top category there. Um, there's two ways to do this. Either you can just move your timeline from the timeline box up there or do a hybrid with your timeline and your milestones together in that upper right or left hand corner box. I'm going to do a hybrid. So I'm going to pick my timeline and then I'm going to go and see what week that is. Pick a date during that week that's going to be my deadline and I can mind map it out from there that week but I'm going to go take go ahead and put that into this box here so that way when I go to that week to set it up I'll I can take that big space of infinite possibility put this there with the date that it's due for and then mind map out any additional steps that I might not have thought of when I was doing my action plan there's also weekly action plans that you can get in the shop that'll help you mind map that out farther. So I'm going to go ahead, put in my deadlines and put in my mini action steps and put in my deadline for each task in this box here. And then once I'm finished setting up this box, I'm going to go back to my stickers because the sets of stickers that I have um, for each month actually include some fun deco stickers. Um, you don't have to use these. You totally can use them. Um, they're made to fit inside of the full month box so that if there's a day you want to block off, like Valentine's Day, or if there's a day of the week that, or if you just want to put it at the top to kind of decorate, or if there's a day of the week that you want to block off as like your self-care day when you don't do anything, you can just use this sticker to fill it up completely. So we'll just go ahead and add some deco stickers here. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you will find shit. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and also for your patience recently. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, which is ERW underscore plans, you might not have been aware that my cat passed um, back in the beginning of January, which kind of threw off my entire recording schedule. Um, it was very sudden. So um, I got a lot of warm wishes from you guys on Insta. And also I did have some people checking in with me after I was missing for a few weeks. So um, it means a lot to me, guys. Thanks so much. Um, usually when life events don't happen, we go live at 7 a.m. Mountain Time every Wednesday. Um, as always, make sure you like, leave a comment, and subscribe. All of the tools, stickers, etc. can be found in the description of the video. Thanks again, you guys, and I'll see you next week.